The Laser RCW was a precursor to the Gatling Laser. The gun was designed to mimic the famous Tommy gun and invoke buyers of the same rapid delivery of ordnance, but instead with lasers. The unique feature of this laser assault rifle is the addition of the drum, which gives this weapon its unique look, high rate of fire, and name. This drum contains a bank of six capacitors in a circle formation, centered around an electron charge pack. The capacitors in the drum are rotated as they fire in succession, producing a single continuous laser beam. While each capacitor is firing, the electron charge pack is used to recharge the previously discharged capacitors. This capacitor rotation allows the RCW to operate like a multi-barreled ballistic weapon, for example the minigun, and avoids the rate of fire limitations imposed by a single capacitor design. This high rate of fire restricts the laser RCW to only using the electron charge pack ammunition type. The single barrel is also a detriment to the long-term use of the weapon, as constant repairs are necessary to maintain the sole barrel used for directing all lasers, a problem sidestepped in the more advanced Gatling lasers by having multiple barrels. With adequate energy weapon skill and strength, this weapon exhibits moderate accuracy due to a high spread for a laser weapon, making it useful for taking down enemies at almost any range. As a directed energy weapon, it has no recoil, allowing it for continuous fire without muzzle climb. Using it extensively on fall auto requires large amounts of ammunition. A partial solution to this problem is to apply the Laser RCW Recycler modification, which recycles every fourth discharge. It also has the second lowest critical chance for any energy weapon in all of Fallout New Vegas. Using the weapon with iron sights can become difficult, as the bright pulses emitted when firing can easily obscure the tiny field of vision that the iron sights allow. This effect is especially pronounced in low light conditions. The Laser RCW was known as the Laser PDW, Personal Defense Weapon, and CBW, Continuous Beam Weapon, at early points during development. This is reflected on nearly all assets, textures, models, icons, and some sound files, still bearing the name Laser PDW. The original concept for the PDW would have been able to shoot a single continuous beam. Work began on implementing a system for continuous beam weapons early on but the amount of bugs associated ended any ideas of this system being implemented, causing the laser RCW to be turned into a simplistic automatic weapon. There is still a single sound file that reflects the original design, which plays a sustained laser sound effect. With the release of the Lonesome Road DLC, the laser detonator uses a continuous beam, but this item is not used in combat likely implying that the bugs discovered when trying to implement the continuous beam system were combat related. The original concept for the Laser RCW comes from the Laser Array Gun from Van Buren, the cancelled Fallout 3 game, which shot a continuous beam in the tech demo. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing for more. If you do, then you will never run out of electron charge packs. If you don't, then your laser RCW will be stolen by a chemmed out fiend.